All right. Well, let me start with this, everyone. Oh, it is. I do have the right date. I'm sorry. It's May 24th, 2001. So there is a lesson to be learned from this show that we're about to review for all of you young wrestlers today. Some of you are smart. Some of you are dumb. Okay. So the main event of this show is a completely random four-way TLC match for the tag team titles. This match was not announced on Raw. There was no Twitter. There was no social media. The show opens and Vince McMahon announces a four-way TLC match for the tag team titles. Now, he makes it very clear this has never been done on television before. This is all. This is a pay-per-view match, but we're going to give it to you tonight on television. Now, the reason they did that was because, remember we had that angle a few weeks ago where Lita got absolutely brutalized by a Stone Cold and Triple H, yes. and the ratings fell off a fucking cliff? Yes. Well, they've been nosediving, mm-hmm. so everybody's fucking freaking out, well, what do we do? And that was one of the reasons that they put the tag titles on Benoit and Jericho. It's like, fuck, we got to make some stars, like, immediately. So on this show, their idea is, we got to give a TLC match away for free on television with no build, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They give them 30 minutes with entrances. The actual in-ring time is twenty a 20-minute pay-per-view caliber TLC match. These guys are fucking killing each other, okay? Now, you may be aware of this, Vinny, maybe not. This is the match where Chris Benoit shattered his neck. Believable. And amazingly, I'm I'm pretty sure it was the diving headbutt where he went through the table. Mm-hmm. I think he hit his head on someone's knee and his neck snapped back. Mm. But apparently at the time, he didn't even know he broke his neck. Mm. So they do the whole stretcher job, which was planned. And then he comes back out and he wrestles 12 more minutes in a TLC match. And turns out his neck is fucked. And he does... I think all the way to King of the Ring because they do a three-way with yeah. Austin and Jericho and Benoit. He's out of here for a year yeah. because of this match. Well, that's completely believable. So then Edge, I don't think suffered any serious injury in this match, but Edge to this day says, like, don't fucking do these TLC matches. Yeah. Because <laughs> they kill you and they will shorten your career. Christian retired because of, of too many head injuries. I mean, if you ever watch Christian work, he's a great worker. So let me tell you where these head injuries came from. Fucking matches like this. And my my point in all of this is, when you're young, here I am, the old man. When you're young and your body feels great and you suffer some sort of injury and a week later you're totally fine and you go out there and you're bumping and you're landing on your head and you're doing all of this crazy shit. That's all well and good when you're young, but you will pay for it in the end. Mm-hmm. You absolutely will. And if you keep doing crazy, stupid shit, you're going to pay for it a lot worse. So I know it's fun. I know it's exciting. I know you get the pop. I know it's fun to look back on it and see video packages and all this, all of this stuff that you get when you do some crazy shit, but you're going to pay for it. And it sucks in the end. And you can ask all the old guys that are all fucked up how much it sucks in the end. And the old guys tell the young guys, the young guys don't listen, and then later the young guys tell the new young guys, and those young guys don't listen. But I'm telling you, even though you ain't gonna listen, don't do this crazy shit. Take care of yourself, and you'll have a long, happy life. It is time for TLC3. Dudley's versus Hardy's versus Edge and Christian versus Benoit and Jericho. So before we get into the match itself... Just want to say they did all four entrances. Then they did a commercial because they knew they weren't going to go 20 minutes without a commercial break. So they just did it first. It got out of the way and then started the match. And for whatever reason, a lot of Michael Cole's commentary was clearly edited in post. You can tell it was a different environment, a different sound. So with that out of the way, they had the most violent TLC match (laughs) that there may have ever been. They beat the fuck out of themselves and each other everything was brutal chair shots ladders giant bumps to the floor just everything they did was like a a meant to kill so 
the storyline. It was absolutely amazing watching this match, having watched all of these fucking bullshit SmackDowns over the last several months that are just the most nothing happening, the booking makes no sense, the matches exist, fucking commercials, they never show you the heat. It's just excruciating. And then I watch this show, and I see this match, and it's like, man, they were having problems, and they decided we're going to turn this fucking ship around. And they didn't, but goddamn, did they give it a shot. They gave it their best shot. So there's ladder shot after ladder shot after ladder shots. I am missing ladder shots live because I am watching replays of all the ladder shots that have already happened. Guys go climb to the top of the ladder and get tipped over. Christian goes to the top of the ladder in the ring to the floor. Not the table, the floor. Superplex off a ladder into the corner of the ring where there's less give. So the story is, like three minutes in, Benoit does a headbutt off the top through a table on the floor. And whoever's on the table dodges. So the spot, this probably was the spot where he hurt his neck. But the spot was for him to miss a headbutt and go through the table and get injured anyway. That was the plan. So he has stretched it to the back. This puts the match on pause. Gives him an excuse to take a commercial. Then like 10 minutes later, everyone just destroys each other with shit in the ring. All seven of them are down. And here comes Benoit limping out, grabbing his ribs. They immediately grab chairs and hit him in the ribs as hard as they possibly can. The Dudleys do their shtick. Crowd is just eating it up. He's just crazy. Jericho beats the shit out of the Dudleys with chairs. So Christian beats the shit out of Jericho's head with a chair. Oh, God. The most brutal baseball bat swinging chair shot to the head. Dude. Oh. Chair, to, chair to Bubba's head. Christian gets 3D'd off a ladder through a table. Taz is beside himself. Taz's mic is peaking. He's just screaming his lungs off at all this nonsense. Jeff does, they set up like the biggest ladder next to the announce desk and then a regular size ladder next to it. And Jeff does the like the, the pommel horse thing over into a leg drop through the table. It's a big ass ladder. It's probably 12 to 15 feet that he actually falls. Taz claimed 35 feet. <laughs> it was not 35 feet. But he leg drops Bubba through the announce desk off this 15 foot ladder. Devon gets a twist of fate off a ladder. Looks like he broke his neck. Edge spears Jericho off a ladder. And with all these bodies down, Benoit just gets in the ring, climbs the ladder, and wins. It was a very anticlimactic finish. And, I mean, ben, Benoit did break his neck. So it was weird because he starts climbing, and he's reaching up for the belts, and he just cannot get these fucking belts. And I'm watching and thinking, is this guy afraid of heights? But then, like, immediately after the match, they show a shot of him diving off the post through a table to the floor. Yeah. And it's like, well, he ain't afraid of heights. So... I don't know if he couldn't get his arms up because his neck was fucked up or what the deal was, but it was like they did every goddamn scary thing in the world. Oh, my God. And then he just climbs up and gets them, and that was it. It is he was, amazing. He was, he was the last man standing. I kind of liked it as a finish, but it's, it was unusual. It is amazing watching this, and one guy killed himself and his family at the brain of an 85-year-old man because he'd been so destroyed by professional wrestling. One guy suffered multiple broken necks and retired early and literally just came back. One guy suffered multiple head injuries and it will never wrestle again. And three of them continue to wrestle today and one of them was wrestler of the year last year. One of them is like very much a top guy. I would never have thought that watching this match. Dude. I would have thought you all will be out of the business in five years due to career ending injuries. Dude, everyone watching this would have left the business. Everyone said, no, I don't want to be in this business anymore. It's not safe. I will not do this job. I'll do something else. I'll mow lawns, whatever. So, yeah, um, we have been watching these retro shows now, whatever it's been since Nitro went under and the, and the WWE shows immediately take a turn south. Look, this was not just another show. This show was memorable, even though I forgot this match happened. This the, the show was, was newsworthy. Please don't ever do matches like this again. Oh, God, no. Are you kidding no me? No one anywhere at any level should. 